Welcome to Sea Sean Vlog and today I'm off on my very first solo travel day. I'm heading to Vancouver to meet up with my good friend Ant and the dog Libby and I'm going to join him on his epically long drive from Vancouver to Orlando and we're not going diagonally so it's going to take a little bit longer over 11 days. Uh, so that is what this series is going to be about. I'll tell you more about it once I get to the airport because I need to get to the airport. Now my flight's at half eleven. It's now quarter to ten. I'm just waiting for the Uber to come. 936. 9.36. Just waiting for the Uber to come and then I will get my luggage taken to the airport because I hope the luggage is underweight because I've got some gifts and things and by my reckoning it's a little bit over so we'll see what they say um, it's going to be interesting my first solo travel day um, a little bit anxious and apprehensive about it but let's uh let's get on with it me all checked in for the first flight down to Heathrow so I need to go through security now which is normally pretty quick at Newcastle but interesting story in the queue there was a dog the dog's not allowed in airports over here so that was interesting I was chatting to the person whose dog it was I was like is that your dog are you leaving like moving away or something because she was getting lots of kisses off the dog and she was, she was going to Antarctica for six months I'm like when does that happen anyway I better get through security because time is getting on I am through security, which took less than five minutes, really, really quick. Um, and my baggage was 23.8, so 0.8 kilograms over. Well, there's gifts in there, so it'll be, although I'm gonna buy stuff. We'll see what it's like coming back. I feel a bit weird. Like, when I was leaving this morning, it was a little bit emotional leaving Caroline. I've never done a trip like this without her before this long, or the distance. So it's, uh, yeah, a bit, bit strange, and I'm, I'm missing her already. But I'll speak to her every day, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a good trip. I've got about an hour before my flight because it is delayed, so that's probably enough time for a quick drink and a small bite to eat. Cause I've not eaten anything or drank anything yet today. I'm gonna do that, and then we'll get to the gate and get on the plane. Got myself a quick breakfast, sausage pudding, and a pint. Eat this quick, and then head down for the plane. Just picking up some snacks for the plane. He's looking interesting. I don't like feta though. No, I like halloumi, but not feta. Well, that's fine. But these uh, look interesting. I think I'll get a couple of bags of them. Jalapeno, garlic, and chili. Mmm. I have now got over to Terminal 3 and it's been a long time since I've had to change terminals at Heathrow as it used to come out of 5 but it's just switched back to 3 so I'll have a wander through duty free find something to eat and drink because it's been a long time since I've been in Terminal 3 Security, as always at Heathrow, was a nightmare I have just had some lunch, late lunch, early dinner, whatever, um, in the curator. And I wouldn't recommend choosing that as an option in Terminal 3. The food, I had the breakfast, all day breakfast, was not good at all. But I was sat on the table with other people who were just on their own. They didn't like their food either. And the service was terrible. I had to ask for my drink, which still hadn't come after I'd finished all of my food. So I wouldn't recommend going there. Um, however, the drink was nice when it came, which was like a weird old-fashioned. Doesn't look like any old-fashioned I've ever had, but it was nice. And then I had a pint after that. Just popped into Boots to grab some crisps and stuff for the flight. 
because I am sat at the back of the plane and I'm just going to chill here in departures waiting for my flight to go in about 20, uh, for the gate to open in about 20, 25 minutes, something like that. I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the trip. So I am heading to Vancouver to meet up with Ant and Libby and we're going to drive from Vancouver all the way to Orlando because um, Kitty and Ant, the new world travel monkeys, are, are moving to Orlando. So I'm going to go over there and keep Ant company in, on the drive and it's a long drive, it's about four, four and a half thousand miles over 11 days and then I'm going to have a week in Orlando at the end to check out some theme parks. But on the road trip there's going to be a day in Vancouver so I'm going to get my Dambo and a um, few sites and a little bit of shopping and stuff where it's a bit cheaper than the USA and then it's then it's the big drive so the first major stop is Vegas we've got a few places to, to hit on the way there um, one of them's just outside Salt Lake City so that'll be interesting to see that uh, but Vegas is the first big stop and then we go um, across the bottom of the USA and we're going to hit um, Texas and Arizona and um, Georgia so we're gonna go to Fe uh, we're gonna go to Phoenix we're gonna go to Atlanta we're gonna go to Memphis we'll try and see Graceland a little bit so I'm gonna get to see a few parts of the USA that I would never normally choose to go to um, on a, as a trip on its own as well as some places that would me and Caroline do want to go to where it's like a little taster and we can see if I want to go back so that's this trip uh, and it's I'm, I'm, I feel a little bit lost, to be honest, without Caroline, because she would normally be with me and there's normally lots going on and lots to think about, but I've only got myself to think about on this, on this solo travel day, but then obviously I'll have Ant after that and, and the dog, so I will not be on my own for that part. Once I get to Orlando, um, I'll be at the theme parks, probably solo, unless I meet up with people while I'm there, because I know obviously quite a few people in Orlando from, from previous trips, so that's this trip for the next three weeks for me next couple of months for you and watching the videos hopefully and I'm gonna now wait for my flight and I'll bring you on with me I'm sat right at the back of the plane like three row, second row from the back or three rows from the back something like that so I'll be like I'll be last getting on and I'll be one of the last getting off as well but it is what it is I'm at the gate just waiting for my boarding group to be called although it's pretty empty I think lots of people have jumped their boarding groups, but that's nothing nothing new or un unsurprising. Um, I could do without this flight, to be honest. The flight's a bit... Uh. Anyway, I'm going to get through it. I'll get on there, and then I'll show you where I'm sitting. I've got a window seat, which I don't normally get, because Caroline's normally sitting in it, so I'm pretty excited for that. And I'm excited to get to Vancouver and just say Ant and have a great time. I am on the plane and uh, we're about to take off hopefully pretty quick although I overheard them saying there might be a little bit of a delay but we'll find out soon got some films to watch some books to read some food to eat and I'll show you what happens as the flight goes on <laughs>
am now off the flight and arrived in Vancouver Airport. Just heading to immigration, customs, border, whatever, whatever they call it. Yeah, flight was pretty uneventful, just a little bit of turbulence. The food was actually all right, and I had the middle seat empty beside me, so that was always, always a good thing. Um, but now I need to get through immigration, collect my bags, and then go and meet Aunt and head over to the Western Bay Shore because that's where we're staying for the next two nights. Hi, welcome to the upstairs parking lot of Vancouver International Airport. Yes, I got through pretty quick because I raced along the moving walkways. I only got halted by the people who were standing still. Ah, right, yeah. Yeah, okay. you, you meant to walk. Um, Jerry, Veronica, and what's her name? I forget. Bob. Bob. Then I, uh, then I, then I grabbed the bag and went on, and so we're heading over to the Western. The Vancouver. The Vancouver. Yeah, mm. we're not in Vancouver. Vancouver Airport's not in Vancouver, but no. we're heading over to Vancouver. That way. Yeah. That way. I have arrived at the Western, and this is the room that we're staying in, which is a corner room, two, uh, two beds, a little sofa area here, and these, these are just delicious. And then we've got a good view of the pool down there. It's a bit glare and reflection, but that's the pool, outdoor pool, which is heated, I think. Not sure. And then out onto the out onto the ocean, and then Canada Place over there in the in the distance, which is well, cruise ship stock. Stanley Park is behind us. We're in the Tower of the Western. That's quite a nice room, really. And just out walking Libby, who went wild when she saw me. When they come back, I think we're gonna head down to the bar and grab a fizzy beverage. You excited? Hey, you excited, Libby? Made it down to H bar. Hello. Oh, cheers. That's a lot more than a double. It's a big double. I went for the Bayshore Pilsner, which has got like a funky designed can. Oh, the hotel is in it. The, ho the hotel's in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn around. You see oh, yeah, there's the pool. There's the hotel. You see there? There's the tower. Yeah, yeah. Or like uh, Howard Hughes. Oh, that's pretty cool. There we go. They look quite impressive. Thank you. You're welcome. I've gone for sum sumai and look at that cheesy dip with, with some crisps. Is there a mood around? Why did it have to come that fancy? And I'm not complaining. Are you complaining? No, I'm not complaining. Yeah, they look pretty good. I don't know what... Is that caviar on the top? Let's try the caramelized onion cream cheese dip. That's quite nice. I've already had one of these dumplings without the vinegar and it was good. And now I'm dipping it in the vinegar. It's pretty good. Wonderful. Just trying one of these. It's a it's a little bit dark for me, but the one that Ant's got, I've had one of these already. It's really really good. We're just talking Look about at that flavor. Yeah, but I like the name Love Buzz, and it always reminds me of a Nirvana song called Love Buzz. So I wonder if it was named after that song. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe. It's very tasty though. Yeah. Mm. I feel bad because I should know this because I'm a big Nirvana fan. Nirvana did do a song called Love Buzz, but it was a cover of a Dutch band called Shocking Blue. I've never heard the original version, and that's something that I'm probably gonna to wanna to do later, but Love Buzz is a great song. In fact, it was their first single. And a nice beer. And it's also a great beer, too, which I don't think, you know, has anything to do with, I don't know. It's, it's good. Nirvana probably didn't know that it's a beer right now. Well, that's a few beers in H-Bar. Um, we, we don't drink. No, uh, it's now like, 
in the UK like what 8 a.m. for me or something like that. It, it is 8 a.m. for you. Yeah, so I've been it up is. like 26 hours or something. I don't know. We're gonna head back upstairs it's anyway. Ready for everyone in Pacific in time. Yeah. yeah, we're All gonna have a world. have an asahi and then I'll be up in the morning for some breakfast. We'll get some stuff going on. Yeah, well that's gonna bring this video to a close. The next one you'll see will be a full day in <laughs> Vancouver. Uh, full day. The next one you'll see will be a full day in <laughs> Vancouver. So tune in for that. Keep making memories. Catch you later.